Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price and also going to have a look on the CMEs because we have a new big future gap towards $17,000. So before we start with the content, my friends, a little reminder that we still have this special Black Friday week sales going on. It's the last day that you can order with 40% off discount a Nano Ledger S or X wallet. So definitely go and take one if you don't have already one. You can follow my link down below here to get this 40% off. And also in my own indicator, I still have today this 50% off if you want to watch the live stream in my Discord called trading chat or also if you want to get the full code and next to this special bonus we still have this Bybit and Femex uh, giveaway if you put the deposit up to 1.5 Bitcoin to get on Bybit $500 and on Femex $600 bonus so let's start with the content my friends because bitcoin after falling down here from this channel that held as a support during this uptrend you can see that we exactly recovered down here when we got here a buy signal and currently we are again testing the previous support which now should be acting as a new resistance if we are able to push higher here so let's say if we're able to go above eighteen thousand eight hundred dollar then i'm pretty confident that we could see here follow up towards here the main resistance resistance from this previous channel that currently is at $21,000 and that would lead into a new all-time high. So if we are able to push higher than $18,800, I'm pretty confident we're going to see today or maybe tomorrow a new all-time high towards $21,000 and that of course is very nice and bullish. The only problem that I see currently is still that in the 4-hour time frame even though we had here this nice bounce towards the 200 moving average there is still this danger that we could fall again to the downside potentially even lower than the 20 moving average and therefore we could maybe in here for a bigger correction especially if we're gonna lose here the 200 moving average at $16,200 because we have this new CME future gap down to $17,000 and that's why I think if we're coming down again to these levels and not immediately bounce back up if the CME gap is getting filled immediately then we could be at the beginning of a major correction at least towards $15,000 and there maybe we're gonna see an initial bounce before maybe continuation to the downside you can also see my own indicator that very soon we could get a sell signal but it's not yet confirmed or not yet flashing but as you can see we are already getting into a bit overbought condition and it looks like that maybe we are in for another correction at least to close the CME gap that we made during the weekend this is what I think could happen and if the CME gap is getting filled in the next couple of hours then we're gonna have to see if we're gonna fall lower down or if we're able to bounce immediately back up because so far in the four hour time frame we are still in an uptrend even though we had this little dip here but overall we are still looking very bullish here and although if we go over into the Bollinger Bands you can see that currently we're still trading on the bullish side we have now the first moving average acting as a support so even if we would fall below then here the middle line at $17,600 should held as a resistance and we also have all the indicators now shifted to the upside stochastic is looking very overbought so here we could be in for a possible little correction before continuation to the upside so it's going to be very important to see where we're going to close today the daily candle and of course if we're able to push higher than eighteen thousand eight hundred dollar also because we have currently the dxy still falling off the cliffs here we are currently at 9160 but it is very likely that here we're going to see continuation to the downside potentially towards ninety dollars which of course is very bullish for the bitcoin price if the dxy is pushing lower because currently we are creating a lower low than this one that we had previously here in September this year. So the DXY is still looking very bearish but I'm expecting also here in the 4 hour time frame a possible pump here because also in the 4 hour you can see that the DXY is very oversold and we could be in here at least for a retest of this 92 even up here to $93 level before we're gonna see continuation to the downside because the DXY is still looking very very bearish and 
and that of course is in favor for the Bitcoin price. And now let's switch over into the daily time frame because here you can see that currently we are pushing again above the nine day moving average, which of course is very bullish. But the problem is that we didn't confirm it yet. So if today we're gonna close above $18,200, that will be very bullish here for the next couple of days and weeks. But if today we are not able to have this nine day moving average as a support again, then I'm afraid that we could fall again towards the 20 daily moving average and possibly even lower towards the 50, which is perfectly lining up with our previous resistance here at $15,000, which now could be acting as a very strong support. Also, you can see that the RSI bounced perfectly from the 50 level, which of course is what we want to see during an uptrend. So also here we cooled off the RSI a bit and we could be in here for another big leg to the upside, which could potentially take us towards $21,000 and like that also create a new all time high. And this is what we have to see right now. If we're not able to push higher than 18,800 and also create a new all time high, then I'm afraid that we could fall down here towards $15,000. So that's why my friends make sure that you're ready for both scenarios. It's very hard to predict right now what the price will do in the next couple of days and weeks. So you should be just prepared for both scenarios. And now let's have a look into the Bollinger Bands in the daily because also here you can see that currently we're again pushing higher than the nine day moving average. And if we're gonna see continuation to the upside, the top currently is right here at $19,700. This is where we could maybe face some resistance, but I think if we're able to take out $18,800, we should be go towards $21,000 pretty fast. The only problem that I see currently in the daily is here the MACD and KST they are shifted to the downside here so in order to bring them again into bull mode we have to stay above the nine day moving average for at least a couple of days. So it's gonna be very key where we're gonna close here this daily candle also today because if we go now over straight into the monthly time frame you can see that we never had a monthly close above $14,000 not even here in the bull market of 2017 when we had this blow off top of $20,000. So if this monthly candle is gonna close above $14,000, we are looking very bullish for the long term, of course. And this will be the ultimate confirmation that this is the beginning of a major run up for Bitcoin. But be aware that even if we close this monthly candle here at around 20K, we could see at the beginning of next month, maybe a little correction down towards this $15,000 area, which I think will be tested very likely. But today is gonna be very important that we are able to keep up the price up in these levels here. So let's wait and see where this daily candle is gonna close. Bitcoin is looking very bullish for the long term, but depending how we're gonna close today's candle, we're gonna see if we are in for a continuation of this dump or if we just continue this uptrend that we are in now since many weeks already. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Don't forget that if you want to take as much gains as possible when we are falling and when we are pumping, you can trade also with small money over on Bybit or Femex up to 100x leverage. So definitely go and sign up to those exchanges if you want to multiply your Bitcoins with trading. And if you don't want to trade at your own, you can use the co-vesting feature over on Prime XPT, a very useful feature that only Prime XPT has where you can copy trade all the traders. And as you can see, some of them are very profitable. So if you don't want to trade on your own, you can also just top up some Bitcoin over here and let other traders manage the money for you. Of course, this is also very risky, but like this, maybe you're also lucky and can do some very nice gains as well. So if you like the content, my friends, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Very much appreciate it. And we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.